it blows my mind. He says, if I have told you earthly things and you believe not, how can I tell you of heavenly things? The writer of the book of Hebrews announces that those who even know the teaching of Melchizedek is on the milk of God's word. I said, how many can get up here and give me a one-hour teaching on the order of Melchizedek? Who he is, what he was. Some say, well, he may have been the Son of God. He may have been what we call Christophany in theology. That means an appearance of Christ before he came in the flesh, starting with the Gospels of our Bible. But we really don't know what Melchizedek was. And the Bible tells me that is God's milk in the book of Hebrews. But strong meat belongs to them that are of the full age who have their senses exercised to discern both good and evil. I'm telling you, it's time we take the book of Revelation and we eat the scroll. It's time we eat the book and allow the word of God to come out of us with power. I said power. Have people tell me, brother, you're going to be so heavenly minded, you're not earthly good. That's a lie from the pits of hell. When you become heavenly minded, your perspective changes. Jesus was the most heavenly minded person in the Bible, and you saw how he transformed society. And of the increase in Isaiah 9, of his government, and of his peace, there will be no end. We get so heavenly minded, we live a legacy that will never die. Enoch walked with God, he was and he was not, for God took him. That's pretty heavenly minded. That is pretty heavenly minded. But there's a legacy that this man left. Like the author of Hebrews said, he pleased God by his faith. Now faith is. Faith wasn't. Faith is. Present tense. Faith is not going to be. Faith is. Now faith is the substance of things hoped for. The evidence of things, come on, this is what I've been talking about, not seen. We have to change our perspective. We have to change the way we see things. Now faith. Something interesting about the word now is now is ever present. Now is a word that is omnipresent. Now is a word that has an everlasting eternal title to back it. Because see, our past is in our past. And our future will come one day. But now is always here. If I count to ten, now is still here. Yeah. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hey, I'm still in the now. So when we understand now faith, we are stepping into the realm where we can pull out of God's kingdom everything that we cannot see, but everything that we desire to make God's will happen in the earth. And in that we will begin to transform society. I'm telling you, we'll go into the highways and the hedges. We'll raise up school teachers and send them into the education realm. We'll send them into the government. We'll send them into the media and technology. I'm telling you, it's time to promote a revolution and a revolution that's going to change the entire society and the planet. Let me close with the scripture. Hebrews chapter 10, verses 12 and 13. The Bible says, This man, after offering up sin one time, sat down at the right hand of God. Waiting there, the King James Version says, Expecting until all his enemies are made a footstool for his feet. Let me say that again. This man, after offering up himself one time, sat down at the right hand of God, waiting there. Until, somebody say until, his enemies are made his footstool. Now if I'm not mistaken, the Bible teaches me in Ephesians that we are seated in heavenly places. In, come on guys, bear with me, just a few more minutes. We're seated in heavenly places in Christ Jesus. Jesus is seated, according to Hebrews 10. At the right hand of God, waiting until all his enemies. What is he waiting for? Are we waiting on him or is he waiting on us? Uh, that's the million dollar question right there. 
I said that's the million dollar question right there. Are we waiting on him or is he waiting on us? He's waiting on us. God's raising up a generation that's ready to subdue his enemies. He's raising up a generation that will not take no for an answer. He's raising up a generation. We're not backing up. Father in the Spirit. For the Lord said, I have many teachers, but I lack the 